So we've learned about E, and we've reminded ourselves about logarithms. So now, if we're talking about a logarithm with base E, okay, then because E is so commonly used, and the logarithm of base E, which we refer to as the natural logarithm, uh, because it's so widely used, a shorthand notation is then brought in. So rather than writing log base E, we write ln of x. Okay, so this new function, if you will, ln, or log of x. So you can say log ln, you can still say log of x, okay? Oh, you probably use them interchangeably, but what this refers to is a logarithm of base E. So when you're in base E, that means you can also write the log laws in terms of ln. So you can say, well, ln of x plus ln of y is ln of x times y. ln of x take away ln of y is ln of x over y. And ln of x to the power of y is y ln of x. Okay, so the same three log laws apply here. Also, from that, you've got ln of 1 is 0. Okay, so making sure you're aware that it's exactly the same log laws that you've learned before, it's just a subtly different notation and a simpler notation at that, because now that we've got to core 3, in this stage, we're going to be using ln rather than using the long-winded log of base whatever, okay? So we're going to try and stick to using ln from now on.